So I'm going to have a 30 finish today. Just because I'm going to start that in. Um, TVR's fully, fully, fully stripped. Engine and gearbox are split on trolleys. Lots of bags. This is just what was left on the chassis. This is in the full car. There's more than this. Um, so until we get our blasting <coughs> bay set up, should hopefully be next week. Uh, I can't really do... As soon as we get the blasting set up, that's going to get blasted. All the bits from the TVR are going to get blasted. MGA chassis is going to get properly blasted. I had to go with that one, but... <coughs> I haven't got the compressor and our shot blaster's not really good enough. Um, ding, ding. Then we'll do, there's some bits on this I'd like to blast if we can do it sympathetically. I want to do inside the boot, really. Because that's going to take a week and a half to clean. It's so well, so hopefully I should be able to blast it and it'll be fine. Uh, that can go, I'll make another trolley, and then that can go out on the frame that it's supported on. Get everything in, get it etched, anti-rust primed, and then we can start. Um, we've decided we're making our own sections, outrigger sections for this, which is a bit of a twat, because really a lot of it didn't need, we could have got away with partial replacement, but... Never mind. So hopefully, I think they're going to get made next week, if not the week after. By which time I'm hoping to have the chassis blasted and in primer. So it can go in clean. And then when the new bits are on, then we'll just blast those off. To give everything a key. And prime it again. When we're happy, I haven't decided yet. Because all the brake lines, fuel lines and everything are cable tied to the chassis. Which, in fairness, well, not brake pipes. Cables are cable tied. I'd much prefer to put uh, rib nuts everywhere. To clip everything properly. But I think it's going to be a bit of a pain to do. So we'll see. We'll decide on that. Come back to it. Uh, my dad's got a lot of the bits doing prep on them. So that can, that's moving forwards. Impress is done, that's going on Monday. Move this forwards then. Figaro, just wanna. <laughs> Nigel on the fab, so he made this little jig up on the bench. Uh, we got all the pieces pre. Oh, sorry, I didn't do it. Uh, pre cut, and we had the saddling done, so it's pretty perfect. Uh, we've got all the gussets cut, which are all them. <coughs> All that crap fell up the old one, did it? Yeah. No wonder it's gone rusty.
got one. This was upside down, obviously. So that's pretty much ready to go in. Um, waiting for, we're having inserts machine, which will go in there and bridge the joint on the inside. Then we'll put a 45 degree chamfer on that and on the new piece uh, to allow a weld in. So yeah, we're getting, it might not look like it at this point, but we're actually getting somewhere. And this is after, well I cut some pieces yesterday, this is mostly just today. He's just tidying up the, um, not quite 90, basically doing that, and then we'll um, fill in with well. Yeah, be happy with how it's going, really. We'll come back in a little bit. Right, so we have one side roughed in, right, night. Nice. Uh, with our inserts and everything, all clamped. Got them all straight as possible. So now you're just going to do some tacks and then we're going to go from there. Right? Okay, switch them on. You sold them on then. Didn't make any noise there, Nigel. Right? Plugged in. Yeah, yeah. Turn this on. Abracadabra. Oh, okay. Nice. Hello. I don't know how much video room I got on my phone. Uh, after being bugged about by the, not bugged about, they were busy. The fabricators decided to just uh, do it ourselves. We had the tool to use as patterns. Got some tube, made some jigs on a steel table there. Uh, this is a fabricator's workshop that I borrowed while they were on holiday. Um, I did some of the welding, uh, the fabricator's dad did some of the other welding. Um, all these have got um, solid bar inserts bridging a joint. Couldn't do them on these ones because it was too difficult to get them in. I've only ground it, and that one could do with a bit more, uh, from underneath. Because they're not bothered about the top, really. The body will be on it, you won't be able to see it. So that's the. Again, that's the join there. Um, welded all new nuts into these sections. And that one. So yeah, go for blasting now. Um, before it gets painted, I'm just going to ask them for a smear, just a tiny bit of. Fill her in just to um, just tidy up that joint a little bit because my welding's not good enough. But yeah, we are getting there finally. Right, this is going to fill up now and then it's flashing. See you later. Bye bye.
Hello. Right, this is the MGA chassis, which was sprayed this morning. Uh, Primed this morning. Primer is absolute pants. Uh, I've just got it upside down, moved it to the back of the workshop. And I've been working through the floor bolts, which are almost all broken off. Uh, that's how many I've took out so far. Lovely. So I've done the passenger side. Do the driver's side tomorrow. Uh, TVR chassis. It's nearly ready for paint. Just looking very nice. Um, I've got a reed drill. That one. 2M10. And also re-weld a stud there for the fuel for the fuel pump, and that's going for spraying Thursday night. Um, yeah, we're getting there then. Moving towards happy. Um, so when I finish drilling that, that can be spun the right way up. I'm going to do an engine, a gearbox, and flywheel test fit on that. And yeah, this is going for paint then. Got to work out the gearbox mount for that. And oh, and then I'm having the boot and the pillars blasted on the inside, and then that can go up and be primed. And what we'll probably do is spray the engine bay inside the interior boot lid and underneath probably get some more of this primer that we've used because it does seem to be the bollocks fair play uh, it's a little bit of a sand but yeah happy with that yeah that's me done for isn't it update as you can see, engines clean, degrease, ready to start being reassembled. Apart from this front end, I might just take the uh, take the tension off and take the alternator off so I can get down in that bit. Other than that, it's pretty clean and not too bad now. Uh, flywheels clean, degreased. Gonna say resurface, probably run a bit of sandpaper over it. No, but sand, orbital sander. Uh, bell housings cleaned, degreased. That's the valley gasket. We got new. I just had all the new bits dropped off. So we're gonna do. Hmm. That's the crank seal. So that should be that one. There. Um. Maybe we're doing the. I might have got enthusiastic and told him I'd do the front one. That looks more of a challenge, if I'm honest. I'm kind of regret in saying that now. Uh, all the suspension bits. Uh, painted, well, been, apart from the new ones were powder coated, but they've been painted. Rust prevented, primed, and painted in top coat. And they've all come up pretty nice. This is our box of uh, new bits. Engine mounts. Other stuff. Clutch. So, yeah, next couple of days. And this is to get this into uh, rolling. And uh, the MGA, oh, core plugs. All the old core, well, most of the old core plugs are out. New core plugs ready to go in. MGA, we test fit there. This has been blasted. And uh, rust preventive primed. You can see a little bit of grits come out wherever and turn it over from the blasting process. Remade the because uh, this is a five speed gearbox from unknown source. Someone said Toyota, maybe 
Um, <clears throat> it didn't have a, the rear mount was basically a piece of thick rubber and some U-bolts. Uh, we've welded a solid bracket onto the chassis now. And this rubber mount is off a whacker plate. So that's not going to move at all. Uh, this rail here is being replaced, that's on order. And um, we've got two new battery box bottoms on order as well. And once that's all done, finishing welding the gearbox mount there. And that can then go for, uh, that's going to be black, two pack, shiny black. Get baked on and then we make that rolling, rolling chassis as well. Yeah, things are, we're, we're moving very incredibly slowly in the right direction. Yeah, I'm gonna rip that, rip that alternator off now. I uh, should be, well, I might try just randomly spray and degrease it down there and see how that does. A bit manky. The rest of the engine's so nice now, I don't want to put it back with that. We'll see. Show you more. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we, I don't even know what part of the TVR process this is. As you can see, I'll put some clips in of the chassis being sprayed. Now, nope. there we go. Been blasted, welded, sprayed, sorted. Um, I'm just sorting out all my various. bags of bolts and things I stupidly I didn't get a new nickel plated 716 UNF washers normally you use metric but M10 is too tight and M12 is too loose engine wise it's all cleaned up degreased sorted um, oh the rear crank seal below the flywheel didn't go in right so we ordered a new one of them uh, all the core plugs are out and ready to be reinstalled. I just need to get some bearing. I'm just going to put a smear of bearing glue on them. Uh, I've got a new valley gasket, which is over there. The They're all the core plugs. They weren't bad anyway. Uh, gearbox is degreased. Flywheel's clean, which is on that chair there. Uh, all the well, you've seen all the suspension bits. So we're going to... I want to try and make it a rolling chassis tomorrow if I can. Hopefully. I'll see if I can get washers. Uh, there is a bit, a place a bit further away which might have them in stock. So I put one... I've put the handbrake on. For, and the switch. So I put one component onto the new chassis. Um, we've got all the other components, that's the diff, various bits and bobs, oh I need diff bolts as well. So yeah, I'm just making a list of final bits we might have forgotten about. And also I appear to have put the gearbox mount somewhere and I'm not sure where. Great. Yeah, so tomorrow and roll this in tomorrow's video I'll roll into this video um we should see a time lapse of like that but we'll see right i'll see you tomorrow